My name is Diane Kerr and I have the privilege of having the name Auntie as an elder. My mission as an elder of the Wurundjeri and Wurrung people is to educate our young ones, to educate the wider community about us, to tell the true story. It's also about teaching our young ones who they are, their connection to the country, and we welcome people onto our country. The Wurundjeri people are the Wurundjeri Balak clan at the moment. We had six clans, but we're only one clan left. After colonisation, we went down to 26 people. Now we're near the thousand. We come from the lady by the name of Annie Borat, who is the sister of William Barak. So we all come from one lady and we're all blood related. Certain times of certain years, certain times of your age, you had ceremony. That was broken when my grandmother was on the mission. We we're trying to reinvigorate those ceremonies, revive them. We do coming of age for the women. We do baby naming ceremonies. We do smokings for ourselves as well as for outside people. We go down to Dites Falls, which is the confluence of the Mary Creek and the Birrung, the Yarra, and I do it right on the water's edge. There's a special place you can walk in. You can see the river. Also here at the convent, we've done smoking ceremonies for events that have been here. Near the gum tree, we've done smoking as well on convent days. It was the first time girls had sang in language here. Singing in language is very healing. I mean, I don't know my language. It was taken from us, but we are learning. We now have a language program. So hopefully within the next five years, we'll be able to speak our language. This is traditional land, Aboriginal land. We're inviting you politely to take care of it, not to harm waterways and not to harm any bull books, which is our children. <laughs>